this is Catherine of Fit Armadillo, the fitness company that lets you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace. And I'm here today because it is Titan and Tone Tuesday. Last week on Titan and Tone Tuesday, I taught you how to calculate your ideal body weight. And I told you that as you're working towards your goal body weight, you want to make sure that you're losing weight the healthy way. But I didn't really have a lot of time to explain how to lose weight the healthy way in a lot of detail. And I got a few questions about it, so that's what this week's video is going to be all about. As long as your doctor has cleared you for exercise, your healthy weight loss is going to have three main components. The first component is an aerobic or cardiovascular fitness routine. And that can include anything that gets your heart pumping. So it could just be walking if you're starting out, but it might be cycling, running, or any other types of activities that are helping you raise your heart rate. The second main thing to include in your healthy weight loss routine is strength training. And again, there's a few options here, but strength training is going to be any type of activity that challenges your muscles. So it might be bodyweight exercises like push-ups or lunges or squats, but it could also include weight training with dumbbells or resistance bands as well. A lot of times when women in particular try to lose weight, they think that the best way to do that is to get on a piece of cardio equipment and do that for an hour or more every day. But to really maximize your results, you really need to have both cardiovascular fitness and strength training as part of your weekly workouts. And the third component of healthy weight loss is making sure that you are eating healthy. Sometimes when we're trying to lose weight, we either forget about the exercise part or focus more on restricting calories than on exercise. And this is something you really want to avoid because it ends up being counterproductive in the long run. When you don't eat enough calories to properly run your body as you're losing weight, your body still needs to get that energy from somewhere and it can start to break down your muscle tissue in order to get that energy. And as you can probably guess from the fact that I want you to include strength training in your healthy weight loss routine, your muscles are very important and they're important not just because they help you carry things and help you in your daily life, but they're also important because they help keep your metabolism up. So they're helping you burn more calories even at rest. And if you're starting to break down that muscle by not fueling your body properly by going on a diet, you might lose some weight initially, but you're just going to end up gaining all that weight back and usually some extra weight after you stop your diet. So you might be wondering how to figure out how to properly fuel your body. And I have a few great resources and I have a few things I want you to avoid. So first, what I want you to avoid is using any fitness apps or fitness calculators online that allow you to enter your goal body weight and the date that you want to reach that goal by. These calculators and tools mean well, but most of us tend to have goals that aren't very realistic. And so that calculator is going to give you a daily calorie goal, but it's probably going to be a lot less than what you need to fuel your body properly throughout your weight loss so that your weight loss is more permanent. And that's why you want to avoid those tools. So if you can't use your favorite fitness app to figure out your daily calorie needs, what can you use instead? The first tool is a free tool. It's called Choose My Plate, and it's a website created by the U.S. government. It's really great because you can put in your personal information, your height, weight, age, gender, and it's going to give you a calculation of how many calories you need each day in order to lose weight the healthy way. And it's also going to give you an idea of where those calories should come from. So it's a really great free tool. And I'll leave the link in the blog post so that you can easily find it. If you check out Choose My Plate, the free resource, and feel like you need some more guidance and more customized help to help you eat healthy while you're losing weight, I would love to create a custom meal plan for you. To learn more about my meal plans, you can click on this link here and see a video overview of them. But let me just tell you this, they're pretty awesome. Every single custom meal plan comes with a daily guide of what to eat, but you're also given the control to swap out any foods that you don't love for foods you do enjoy, and the plan will readjust to fit your preferences. And my one last tip for you on your healthy weight loss journey is to check your weight once a week. You don't need to do more than that because it can drive you a little crazy. Our weight does fluctuate throughout the week and each day. 
And as you're tracking your weight once a week at the same time, what I want you to track is how much weight you're losing each week and make sure that it's falling into the healthy range for weight loss. If you're doing things the healthy way, you can expect to lose between half a pound to two pounds on average each week. If you were eating really crazy food and not working out and then you started eating healthy and started working out, you could lose more than two pounds the first week or two, but most people are going to lose no more than two pounds a week and really closer to half a pound a week if they're doing things the healthy way. So if you look at your scale and you're consistently losing way more than two pounds every week, you wanna check to see what you're doing, check to make sure you're fueling your body properly so that you're having more permanent weight loss and not messing up your metabolism along the way. Now that you watched this video, I want you to take action now. Leave me a comment below this video telling me what you learned this week and if there was a new tip that you're going to include in your personal weight loss journey, I would love to hear what that is and your thoughts on that as well. Did you learn something by watching this video? If you did, I would love for you to share it with your friends and on social media because sharing is caring. Thank you so much for stopping by for this week's Titan and Tone Tuesday. I hope you have a great week, awesome workouts, make sure you're losing weight the healthy way if that's your goal, and to see you soon.